Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Packed column performance analysis. In this video course, you will learn packed column fluid dynamics, loading, hydraulic characteristics, and importance of liquid loading on pressure drop per unit height of packing, flooding in packed column. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. Separation technologies such as distillation, absorption and stripping make use of packed columns in several process industries due to their relative advantages over other contacting equipment such as stray columns. In the previous two videos, we discussed the types of packing and their characteristics and how to select packing for a given application. Let us begin this discussion by analyzing the flow dynamics in a packed column. Consider the packed distillation column shown in this figure. The height of packing in the rectification section is Z1 and the height of packing in the stripping section is Z2. The total height of the packing section in the column is Z which is equal to Z1 plus Z2. The vapor and liquid flow through the bed counter current to each other. The liquid flows down the column bets the surface of the packing. The vapor flows up through the voids and contacts the liquid on the packing surface and mass transfer takes place. The upflowing vapor experiences resistance to flow. This results in pressure drop. The pressure drop across the total bed height Z is designated as delta P. The pressure drop in the rectification section is delta P1 across the bed height of Z1 and that in the stripping section is delta P2 across the bed height of Z2. You may notice that we are discussing two process parameters here, the pressure drop and packing height. In the analysis of packed column, the pressure drop per unit height delta P by Z is an important parameter. Packed beds are used in applications where low pressure drop is required. Pressure drop per tray in a tray column is 8 millibar. Pressure drop per equivalent height of packing is 1 1.5 millibar. So the pressure drop is approximately 10 times lower in packed column. The reason being the liquid holdup is appreciably lower in packed beds. Hence packing a preferred choice when the process liquid flow rates are low. As the liquid loading is increased, the pressure drop will become higher. Hence from design and operation point of view, the relationship between pressure drop per unit height of packing and vapor velocity at various liquid loading needs to be understood. Other two terms you will come across in the ensuing discussion are loading and flooding. These terms will define the limits of operation in dealing with the hydraulic subpacked column. Loading refers to the operating point where the gas velocity is high enough to restrict the flow of liquid down the column. This figure presents a group of pressure drop lines at constant liquid flow as a function of vapor flow. And let us analyze the packed column under two conditions. One, when the liquid flow L is equal to zero, that is the column is dry. Dry tower means only gas flows through the tower packing and there is no liquid flow through the tower. This is the condition that can be realized during column startup operation. The straight line represents the pressure drop line for dry packing L is equal to zero and its relationship to mass velocity G is expressed by the equation delta P 
divided by z is proportional to g to the power 2. The condition 2 when liquid flow L is not equal to 0. When the liquid starts flowing down the packing counter current to the vapor, the packings get irrigated and becomes wet. The pressure drop curve is no longer a straight line and becomes a curve. The constant liquid lines start parallel to the dry column line. As the rate increases, the slope of the constant liquid line increases. This increase is also proportional to the liquid rate. Upon observing the curves closely, two turning points can be noted. One, loading point, two, flooding point. Hence, a pressure drop curve can be considered as three zones. One, constant liquid hold up zone, two, liquid loading zone, three, flooding zone. The figure below illustrates these zones. When the volumetric flow rate V is constant and L is not equal to zero, then the actual velocity U in the packed bed irrigated with the liquid is greater than the vapor velocity of a dry or empty tower. That is U actual is greater than U. Therefore, under constant U, when the value of L is larger, the curve moves to the left more, meaning as L increases, delta P by Z increases. Delta P by Z with L not equal to 0 is greater than delta P by Z with L equal to 0. Operation under zone 1. Below point A, when U is increased, the liquid holdup of the column does not change. This is constant liquid holdup zone. Operation under zone 2. Above point A, when U is increased, the liquid holdup of the column is increased. This regime is called loading zone. Operation under zone 3. As we move further above point B, when the vapor velocity is increased, the packing is flooded. This regime is called the flooding zone. This figure illustrates the hydraulic characteristics of a typical packing in terms of the liquid holdup in the packed section as a function of gas velocity with liquid loading L as variable. At constant gas velocity, as a liquid load is increased, the liquid holdup increases. Understanding flooding phenomena in structured packing column. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your spec Elon channel is one-stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career-oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button now. How is the fluid dynamics different in packed column as compared to tray column? How it influences the mechanism of flooding? Let us move on to find out. In a packed column, the vapor is the continuous phase with the liquid getting dispersed in the vapor. The vapor moves through approximately 95% of the open area. In contrast, in a tray column, the liquid is a continuous phase and the vapor is dispersed in the liquid. The open area available for flow or the active whole area is roughly 18 to 15% of the open sectional area. The vapor moves through much less area in the tray. This figure illustrates a packing layer of structured packing and how it provides the contacting surface for the liquid and vapor. In the next figure you will see a cross section of the packing layer 
as viewed from top, showing the corrugations. For mass transfer operation, the liquid is distributed from top so that it wets the surface of packing and flows down, forming a thin film over the surface. The vapor flows through the opening countercurrently. The liquid stream is shown in green color and the vapor stream is shown in black color. The upward flow of the vapor exerts an aerodynamic drag on the falling liquid. This drag force acts in opposition to the force of gravity and slows the flow of falling liquid. When the relative flow rates of vapor and liquid are such that the drag force is greater than or equal to the gravity force, then the liquid stops flowing down the column. This condition is called flooding. This figure shows the column under flooded condition. The voids in the packing is filled with the liquid with practically no area for vapor flow. The liquid is now the continuous phase with bubbles of vapor rising through it. Flooding can begin at any vertical location in the column. It depends on the local vapor and liquid flow condition. If left unnoticed, there will be continuous buildup of liquid level until the entire column is filled with frothy liquid. If the operation is continued under this condition, the column will overflow and the liquid is carried over to the overhead vapor lines and further to the condensers. At flooding, the efficiency of packing decreases and the desired separation cannot be achieved. It will cause damage to column internals such as distributors, bit limiters, etc. Hence, operation at flooding zone has to be avoided. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.